Hey, wait. Before they come through to you, make sure you're controlling the hands. If it's not, you got to tell them to slow down.
Stewart, we begin your talents. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One more time. Good morning. Good morning. Better. I love seeing the no, sea red. You gotta go around. Awesome. So thanks for joining us. It's gonna be a great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to Grantsville High School for our Guinness World Record attempt this morning. Today marks Grantsville's endeavor for the largest number of people attending and participating in a politics lesson at a single venue. Before we continue, please help me welcome several dignitaries that are here with us today as stewards, participants, and witnesses. Please stand to be recognized. The Mayor of Chesapeake, our own Mayor, Alan P. Krasnoff. Mr. Craig Ellis from the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Dr. Gina Pantina, the Executive Director of Administrative Services and Clerk of the Board for Chesapeake Public Schools. And our Superintendent, Dr. James T. Roberts, will be here. He's at another engagement, but will be here before the lesson begins. So thank you all for your support. We'd also like to take just a second to recognize and thank several people for making this event happen. Ms. Kim Hammers, teacher. Ms. Caroline Shea, librarian. Ms. Kristen McInerney, assistant principal for instruction. I also thank all of our guests who are here to support this event, including several former Grizzly staff members. Mrs. Bittner. Mrs. Cheeks. Mayor Krasnoff was first elected mayor of Chesapeake in 2008 and re-elected 
in 2012. He has served our great city for 25 years, being on the city council since 1990. And this is the most important thing I'm going to say about our mayor. He is a huge supporter of public education. All of you have benefited from all of this hard work. So let's give him a Christmas. The Honorable Mayor, Alan P. Grassley. I feel the love. <laughs> Come on now, Grizzly Nation. Put your hands together because this is your time. This is your high time. Oh, I feel it. I feel the movement. I shake it. Uh,
In exploring your new home, Nowhere Island, your group finds that vegetation and fruits, such as bananas, are plentiful. This is encouraging. Of course, the sea also provides a potential bounty of food, provided you devise methods of harvesting fish and other sea life. After trekking further upwards and into the mountains, you also discover a source of fresh water. Taking together these resources can provide a sustainable lifestyle for your group. Now it is time to get organized and make some decisions. It is very likely that each new day will bring new challenges for the group for quite some time to come.
the new crew. No Japanese membermen here. Ready, go.
guys. Let's see what we've come up with for life on Nowhere Island. Mr. Sauer? See uh, what this group here has uh, got for for day one, and how they set up their uh, maybe political system. Very nice. I would take both. Let me find another group back here over here. Who's a group leader? I've got a group leader right here. Well, what did you guys do to uh, set up your your uh, political uh, island? Well, I mean, uh, group council leader, and then what the group was going to do based on that on that council. Let me move to uh, one more group here. Let me see. This looks like a bright group over here. Who was your uh, uh, team leader over here? Now, how did you guys decide to set up your uh, political island as far as a leadership group? A uh, lot of councils set up, Ms. Cameras. Mr. Sauer, pick me, pick me, I'm in a group over here. Okay, right. group over there. Let's break this out a little bit. What did you guys decide for day one over right here? All right, so we're going to have a council, but it's going to have one elected head of the council, so they're going to be like making most of the decisions. But it'll be a democracy, so they'll vote on who's on the council and who the head of the council is, and most of the decisions will be made that way. So that sounds a whole lot like our executive branch with a president that then has a cabinet that provides advice to him routinely. How about over here? What did you guys come up with? Okay, so we came up with a, one council with seven members, and they're uh, elected by um, qualifications and what they plan for the future. Now, did you consider what those qualifications were going to be? Just whatever people think is best. Okay. Yeah.
second day. Who do we have right here as our uh, group leader? What did you guys decide to do for uh, day two? Oh, quota. I like that. We've got quota reaches. Miss Hammers, where are you? I am way over here. Oh, yeah. the vending machine. What do you got up there? I have... Okay. <laughs> so, our committee, we're going to have different committees with different responsibilities. One of them fishing, gathering wood and building, gathering birds, fresh water, nurses, gathering materials to be used for clothing, trash collectors, and making we weapons. And there's going to be a leader for each of the committees, and those are going to be chosen through the council. And, <laughs> and every island member over 18 gets a job, and mothers may be an exception to that. All right, I have one more, Mr. Stark. One more. Tell us all about day two. If you hear me, I've got it right back here. No, 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 no I do. Here we go. Um, each group has a leader, um, and then group one is fishing, and out of those, some will catch, some will skin, and then some will cook. Group two collects fruit, some will gather, some will cut it, and like, I guess. And then like? group three will collect the trash, and then group three will dispose of it. Well thought out, I like it! Come to you, Mr. Sal. Um, I was getting excited. I hear a whole bunch of good ideas popping up. Here we go for this group here. Uh, 
Excellent ideas rolling around back here. All right, I got one more, and then we're going to break it down camera style. Okay, we have a really peaceful and diplomatic way of doing this. So, we're going to ask every new traveler if they would like to join our colony. We're going to treat it more as like a state. And if we have more people in our state, then we're going to divide the land. It's going to be bigger for us, but if there's more for them, it'll be bigger for them. And we're going to treat it like the states, like I said, so like Virginia and North Carolina, we're nice to each other. We're going to have alliances. We got the same goal. We're going to have some interstate trade, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great, great, great over here. All right. We've got some nice, interesting ideas, guys. Now, while you're working in your groups, I would wager that you didn't even think about the fact that you are making some of the decisions that make up government, that make up politics. When you decide whether to have a council or an individual running your island, you are making decisions that the framers of the United States Constitution had to make when they were at the Constitutional Convention. Did you feel the pressure a little bit? Yeah? Okay. Those are big decisions. Those are decisions that have to be made as a society forms. That was a huge part of the debate that went on at the Constitutional Convention as the framers were trying to decide what to do as they built a new nation with a brand new founding document. The very same is true in terms of day two. For day two, you had to decide tasks that had to be managed within your society. Part of the government's job, part of our political leaders' jobs, is to provide all these civil services to us. We're very fortunate. We have running water in our homes. Okay. Sewage is managed. Trash is collected. I bet not a one of you, at this very moment, is worried about where that banana peel from your breakfast this morning will be later this week. We don't have to worry about it. Because government at all levels contribute to providing us those kinds of services. We don't routinely worry about security. A couple of you mentioned that in dividing up tasks on your island. Or day three's challenge certainly pertain to diplomacy, negotiating with other groups, other entities, and making decisions about what to do. Are we going to be friends? Are we going to be foes? And our government does all of that for us. Those are some of the decisions, again, that the framers made as they drafted the US Constitution, created a military for us, so that on the daily, we never have to think about our security routinely. And those were some of the very same decisions that you made this morning as we made a little rational history for ourselves. So we thank you guys. We hope you learned a little bit. If nothing else, if nothing else, take from today that government is all around you. Politics happen every day. We have a representative government so that we never have to think about where that banana peel goes. We have representatives to handle all of that governmental and political business on our behalf. And part of our job is to support that system. So if you take only one thing from today, aside from the fact that it was pretty cool, go vote when you're old enough. Register to vote. See to your civic duty is how our system is constructed for the people by the people. It's what our framers intended. And take that lesson home with you. Mr. Sauer? More on the story, more on the story. Here, here it is. Choose good leaders, ones that are fair and, you know, are, are going to make the tough decisions, but, you know, are, are fair, and then divide, divide the labor. People don't like to always just get stuck in one thing to do. They like to do different things. They like to do a little of this and a little of that, and if you pigeonhole somebody into something, then they're going to get angry about it and, and revolt. The, the last thing, that third part of the activity, be kind to everybody. You always got to be kind and accepting of everybody and be inclusive. Include as many people as you can because you never know what they can do until 
you would include them. And the last thing that you always have to remember is save some time for dance.
is pretty cool to show that red. Red's a little bit red. It's weird to see it in May because we were used to seeing it in the fall for red out. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, wait. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Come in the count. Okay. Yeah. 